future of a major Vermont residential solar company be in the dark? Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Darren Perrin. ISUN, a publicly traded company, filed for bankruptcy last week, leading to concerns from some about home solar projects. Channel 3's Calvin Cutler is joining us now live in the studio. Calvin, bring us up to speed on this. Yeah, that's right. Good evening, Darren and Kat. ISUN, which used to be known as Peck Electric, filed for bankruptcy last week, citing mounting debt and pressures from high inflation. But we wanted to know what this bankruptcy filing means for Vermont larger push for solar. A cloudy future for a major solar developer. Chapter 11 bankruptcy documents submitted to a Delaware judge last week show iSun, the parent company of Sun Common, finished last year in the red, losing over $19 million and hemorrhaging a quarter million dollars weekly and maintaining millions of dollars in debt. In a statement, iSun CEO Jeff Peck tells us, quote, this process will enable us to restructure our finances and operations to ensure our long-term sustainability and competitiveness. We don't know how exactly iSun landed in financial dire straits, but those in the industry say there are many complexities. Residential solar uh, is all about financing at a certain point, and so the increased uh, rates that are across the board right now, be it for homes or cars or solar arrays, are also challenging the market. State Representative Caleb Elder, who's also a solar consultant, says financing home solar arrays, which can run about $20,000, can be tricky. Add to that steep prices on wiring components and tariffs on Chinese steel. And some point the finger at decreases in the state's net metering rate, a program giving homeowners a credit on their electric bill for putting power back on the grid. Though there is a disagreement to what degree net metering is the problem. State data from the Public Service Department shows Vermonters continuing to install home solar arrays and participate in the net metering program. One of iSun's competitors, Catamount Solar, says the overall market for residential solar is still strong. And if your company is structured in a way that, you know, can't can't support some of the ups and downs in the market, then then you can be affected. And I think that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, larger companies that are kind of focused on growth and, and not so much on. later this month, which seeks to spur more in-state renewable energy. And solar is just one piece of Vermont's energy portfolio, in addition to wind, hydro, and natural gas. Kat? 